You know what we're going to show you tonight? Is the first mention of the house of God in the Bible. I'd like to read you a few verses. Genesis 28. You all know Jacob. Jacob had another brother, Esau, right? He wanted to get ahead of his brother, but his brother came out first. Uh, later on, Esau was very hungry, and he came home, and Jacob said, sell me your birthright, because you're the firstborn. You should get everything. Sell me your birthright for a bowl of soup. Yeah, it wasn't the beef stew that I enjoyed, but a bowl of porridge. Yeah. And he did it. Esau didn't, said, what, how, how will this help me right now? I'm hungry. You can have the birthright. Later on then, Jacob, with the help of his mom, right, deceived Isaac, right? And Isaac blessed Jacob yeah, and gave him the birthright. Esau came back, what? There's nothing for me? Man, I'm going to kill my brother. So Jacob, Jacob's got to leave. He's got to get out of there. And that's where we pick up the story. Here's Jacob leaving his home. I was thinking about some of you. Have you had this experience? You grew up in a nice home. And then what happened? You went to college. Yeah. And you, you left your home. Oh, your dear mother. Right, brothers? And your dear mother. She used to do everything for you. She would even fold your clothes and put them away. You know, the Lord brings us to situations like this so that he can show us his house. Yeah. If we're too comfortable, if everything's perfect, you may never see God's house because your life is good. You're not desperate. You're not seeking. You're not open. But the Lord may lead you into a situation. You go away from home. You go away somewhere. And all of a sudden, one night, Whoa, the heavens are opened and you see something. So let's read. This is Genesis 28, verse 10. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he came to a certain place and spent the night there because the sun had set. And he took one of the stones of the place and put it under his head. And he lay down in that place. So he lay down. And then verse 12, and he dreamed. Oh, young people, that you all would have a dream, Amen. that you all would have this dream. Yeah, we're praying that you would have a dream, this dream right here. Listen to the dream. There was a ladder set up on the earth, and its top reached to heaven, and there the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And verse 13, and there was Jehovah. Did you ever read this? I just thought there was a ladder, and the angel... But it says, and there was Jehovah. He saw Jehovah standing above it, above the ladder. And then he talked to the Lord. Jehovah said, I'm Jehovah, the God of your, Abraham, your father, the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie, I will give to you and to your seed. Your seed will be like the dust of the earth. You will spread abroad to the west, to the east, to the north, and to the south. And in you and in your seed, will all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will cause you to return to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Isn't that good? The Lord won't leave you until he has done what he promised you. Yeah. And Jacob, Jacob woke up from his dream, his sleep, and he said, surely Jehovah is in this place. And I didn't know it. And he was afraid and said, how awesome is this place? How awesome is this place? This place, which is the house of God. He said, this is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put under his head, and he set it up as a pillar, and he poured oil on top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel. Bethel. Bethel means the house of God. This was Jacob's experience. 